Hi, Mia. What's up, dude? Okay, there's a candle right here, so you gotta move. Come on. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Kate. For those of y'all that don't know me, if you do know me, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you guys here today for something that is so requested, but not through my YouTube channel. This is questions that I get in my daily life from more people than you could possibly imagine. So every time I hang out with somebody, the question of YouTube always comes up, whether like, do you enjoy it? What do you think about it? When did you start doing it? Like, what is the growth process like? Are you getting paid from it? When did you get paid from it? Should I start one? You guys have no idea how many questions I get about YouTube in my everyday life. And I've been doing it for a little over two years now. It has been a very long process. So I'm gonna make this into two separate videos. And I've taken notes on both why you should start a YouTube channel in 2020 and how to start a YouTube channel in 2020. Let's just dive in on why you should make a channel in 2020 and what are the benefits of having a YouTube channel. I just kind of want to take like my thoughts from it and just kind of give some light on questions that I've been asked in my everyday life. I threw up a Q&A on my Instagram and a lot of people ask me a lot of specifics about YouTube. So I thought it would be good to make one sit down video, talk about my experience, talk about what I think about it and share it with you guys. So let me know if you guys like this. And part two of this video will be up about how to start your channel soon. If it's already up by the time you're watching this, it'll be up approximately one week after this video is uploaded. So keep an eye out for that if you guys like this. Anyways, let's get into the details of this video. You're thinking about making a YouTube channel. If you're on this video or you're just curious about details, if you're thinking about making a YouTube channel, do it. And here's why. But there are some reasons why you should or should not do it and some expectations you should have beforehand before creating a channel. So let's get into my number one first reason why I created a YouTube channel and why I think you should create a YouTube channel. And that would be creating the memories from it. I probably am like five of my views on every single video because I love to go back and watch my videos. I have videos from, I do vlogs, I do sit down videos. I do a lot of different kind of videos on my channel as a whole, I don't just stick to one certain kind of thing. I'm not just a vlogger. I'm not just a haul video. I'm not just a makeup person. I do a little bit of everything. So going back and being able to watch those memories with my friends is so huge. I highly suggest it if you are someone that has a really bad memory or you just want to document something and have a little piece of something and creativity for your friends to watch and go back and see. So I know so many of my friends will go back and watch old vlogs that they're in. Your friends are going to love to see themselves. And if you're willing to take the time to make the videos and put them together, yes, they do take a lot of time, but documenting it is so amazing and so fun to look back at. And then going into that, the creativity side of it. Creativity is such a big part of YouTube. If you are a content creator, if you are a creative person, if you are someone that is friendly, you don't even have to be a social person to make a YouTube channel. You just have to be someone that is creative and enjoys filming and the editing process. If you enjoy graphic design, the thumbnails are so fun and you have to look at YouTube as one thing. You have to look at the fact that you have to make your own thumbnails. You have to edit the videos. You have to film the videos and sit down and talk. It takes a while. And if you go back and look at my first few videos, I am so awkward when I'm talking to a video and I had to edit so many parts out. There's so many jump shots in it because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm saying, um, or so, so much, LOL but it has helped me so much with my creativity. I've learned so much from Photoshop. I've learned so many different apps to edit my Instagram stories, um, things like that. Because when you start doing YouTube, a lot of the other platforms become one and your Instagram is a part of YouTube. Usually your Twitter can be a part of YouTube. You just learn a lot about different platforms if you're gonna get into YouTube because learning analytics and stuff like that really does help. And if you're not someone that likes to sit down and talk to the video and you feel uncomfortable doing it, you don't have to. You can be a creative. You can show your skill if you enjoy knitting, if you enjoy cooking. You don't have to be a vlogger. You don't have to sit down and talk to a camera. You can definitely film your videos and put music over them, copyright free of course. In the next video I'll talk more about copyright music. but putting music over it, just showing your skill. There is somebody out there in the world that wants to see what you're doing and would like to learn from you if you are a creative or if you just wanna give life advice or anything. You don't have to just be someone that talks to the camera. You don't have to be that kind of person. You never know what is gonna be picked up by YouTube and you never know 
what is going to be crazy good. You could be a dancer and you just want to show off some of your dance moves. Do it. Film it post a video and you will be surprised at who is interested in it. Let's talk about something really big that I had to learn from the get-go, which is fear and gaining confidence from YouTube. It is scary making a YouTube channel. You have no idea who's gonna support you. You have no idea who's gonna make fun of you. I still do have a smaller channel, but when I had about 200 subscribers, most of them were family and friends, and I was really embarrassed when people when I told people I did YouTube and I didn't have a big platform. You're not gonna have a big platform at the beginning, but the thing is, is you have to get over that fear and gain confidence and share it with your friends and family because those are gonna be your first supporters. Those are gonna be the people that pop onto your videos. I cannot explain to you how many times I have gone out and saw a friend that I haven't seen in a hot minute, and they'd be like, oh yeah, I still keep up with your vlogs, and you're like, no freaking way. You have to share it with your community. You have to get over that fear and it's going to help you grow a lot of confidence because you're going to hear from people that you didn't expect that do like your stuff, that do watch your channel. I was so scared to tell people that I was a YouTuber and that I was starting YouTube. But, and even now I don't say I'm a YouTuber. I say I do YouTube because I don't want to get off the the wrong impression, but I'm very proud about the time that I put into it. And a lot of people are really interested in it. And it comes up in conversation a lot when I'm hanging out with friends, especially once I don't hang out with that often. And then like, be brave. Once you start putting out those videos, be brave. Don't be scared. You never know how things are going to go. You're going to get dislikes. I have dislikes on some videos. It's going to happen. People are trolls on the internet get used to it, but you're going to get a lot of likes too. And you're going to get a lot of views. And that's, what's important is, you know, sharing what you have with the world. Don't pay attention to the dislikes. Don't pay attention to the hate. When I first started YouTubing, I had a girl say that I was ripping off Tana Mojo with my um, intro. At first I was kind of mad and I was like, I don't want to be Tana Mojo. But at the same time, like I'll be Tana Mojo, like heck yeah. So at least they're watching. That's another view for you. So accept the negative make it a positive and you will be fine. Now let's talk about the stigma of, oh, I don't have a camera. You don't need a camera. You don't need the fancy equipment. You just need yourself and a phone or something. You can start with a phone and the quality of iPhones lately is so incredible. I've seen some videos that were so low quality, but such good content. And if you're putting out good content, the rest of it will come with time. You're gonna want to invest in a nice camera over time, but take your time with it. I mean, I've changed cameras like four or five times. Like it's taken me so long to get to a setup that I'm happy with. And don't worry about that. As long as you have an iPhone and some way to edit it, you're gonna be fine. I mean, I recommend if you have a Mac, you could do iMovie. There are so many apps that you can use for editing videos on your phone. I'm gonna link a ton of them in the description for you if you wanna use an app to edit videos. I use Final Cut Pro in mine. Like I said, I'll get more into that in the other video. But video editing is a very fun and creative aspect of it. You have to take into account how long it's gonna take to edit something, especially if you're starting off. Like this video, I'm more flowing about it because I enjoy talking about it and I've been doing this for a minute. So it's gonna come off easier and it's gonna be a less editing process. Whereas if you're filming a haul video, you have to take into account that you have to film yourself in the outfits. You have to take the content from that, send it to your computer, get it imported, get the music picked out. Editing is supposed to be fun, but it is a lot of work. So when you're starting a scheduling calendar, make sure you take that into account. The next thing I want to talk about is a safe space. YouTube is my safe space. It is my positivity. It makes me feel really good about myself. It is a place that I can post whatever I want, whatever I want, as long as it's PG, right? Thursdays boost my mood. Getting to post a video and seeing people view it makes me so excited. And like, yeah, YouTube can kind of get to me sometimes because I am two years in and some videos aren't doing well, but then I can post a video and it'll randomly get picked up by YouTube and it'll have 20,000 views in a month at my Marshalls Hall video that blew up. You never know what to expect. It is my safe spot. It is my safe haven. If you're somebody that needs a creative outlet, this is the perfect way. And if you do get really good at it, you can make some money off of it. YouTube pays really well, but you got to take your time and you've got to start with the fact that you want to do this for you. Another thing I want to talk about is I'm not hilarious. I'm not super funny. I'm average funny. I'm not a size two, like, perfect model, but I'm me. I have a good time filming. I like talking to people. You don't have to be this picture perfect Tumblr 
TikTok girl to make a channel. Sometimes it might be a little easier for them because their thumbnails are a little bit more grabbing, but I've seen so many YouTubers that are just like you and I that are just relatable. They want to see someone and follow someone that they can connect with and that they can relate to. So for example, I used to watch this really big YouTuber and she was in a sorority when I was in a sorority and I was just so enamored with her. And as time went on, her channel started to blow up more and she started getting more designer stuff and her life became more of like a fairy tale. And while I liked seeing this like crazy fairy tale for her, I also didn't feel like she was very relatable anymore and I started to disconnect. If you make your channel and you do blow up, remember to stay relatable and to check your comments and your likes and reach out to those people that actually watch you and keep up with you because they're gonna be the people that keep you going. All right guys, so that is it on why you should start a channel. It was kind of all over the place. This one is more of just like a you should do it. This is what to expect. But the next video that I'm gonna be putting out is all about how to make your channel coming from making the account, designing the account, video recording, copyright music, editing, posting, tags, growth, analytics, everything like that I'm gonna get into. If you're now thinking like, oh yeah, I can do this. I like what she's saying. Check out part two of this video. It'll be up next week and I am so excited to have you guys here. If you do decide to make a channel, let me know on Instagram. I will, um, on YouTube, if you post your channel and say something about subscribing, it'll block that comment as spam. So DM me on Instagram. My handle is right here. It's at Kegi. Let me know what you guys are doing. Make that channel. I'm so excited to see what you guys come up with and have a great rest of your day. See you next week. Bye.